A liquid-dominated geothermal plant with a single flash separator receives water at 204 degrees C. This is our first state. The separator pressure is 1.04 MPA. That is our second state. A direct contact condenser operates at 0 0.034 MPA. So if this is the condenser, that is our fourth state. The turbine has a polytropic efficiency of 0.75 and uh, for a cycle output of 16 megawatts. So that is our turbine work. And of course this has prime because we have an efficiency. What is the mass flow rate of the well water in kilograms per second? So we're trying to find MGW in kilograms per second. So if we draw this, this is our ground. This is our water. We're extracting it. So this is state one. That goes into our steam separator. And this line goes into the turbine and this line goes into the condenser. So we have MGW here and we have our steam here. So how do we find MGW? Well we know that the mass of the steam here is a percentage of the groundwater. In this case it's X sub 2. And this is our MGW. So we do have to find our X sub 2 first. So we know that H1 is equal to HF2 plus X sub 2 HFG2. Why? Because the uh, enthalpy doesn't change when you merely extract it from the ground. So we can equate this. This becomes 870.51. HF2 is 770.38. And uh, we're trying to find X sub 2. HFG is 2009.2. So our X sub 2 would be, let's put that in our calculator. Oops. 770.38 plus... And we get 0 0.0498 for our steam quality. Right, so we have this. Now we need to find our mass of the steam. Let's see. So we know that turbine work is equal to the mass of the steam times the change in enthalpy multiplied by our polytropic efficiency. So we do have our uh, turbine work. So that is 60,000 megawatts. Or H sub 3. Okay. If you think about H sub 3, that's just the, the gas or the vapor coming out of state 2, which means Hg is simply H3. All right, so we have that already. We do not know our H4, but we do know our polytropic efficiency. So we need to find H4 first. So for H4, we know that H4 is equal to HF4 
plus x sub 4 h f g 4. All right, so h of 4 we do have right here. So that is simply 301.4. HFG is also given right here, 2328.8. So we just need to find our X4. So since it looks like S2 is equal to S3, and if this is an isentropic process, that is also equal to S4. So let's write that down. S2 is equal to S3 is equal to S4 is equal to SF4 plus S4, or rather X4 and SFG4. Alright, so SF4 is 0 0.9793, SFG4 is 6.7463, and finally S2 is equal to S3, let's see here, that is 6.5729. 6.5729 and then we can put that in our calculator now 6.0 okay we get an x4 of 0 0.8291 X4 is 0 0.8291. And now we can put that here, right here. So uh, let me draw that so you don't get confused. All right, that becomes 0 0.8291. And so H4 can be calculated in our calculator as well. For H4, we get 2,232. Point, what's this? 21. Okay, so we, know ha we now have our uh, h sub 4, so we can now find our m sub s. So, direct substitution. Of course, we shouldn't forget our polytropic efficiency of 0 0.75. And if we shift solve this, if we shift solve this, uh, let's see, 2779.6 minus 321, okay, times 0.75, shift solve, there we get a flow rate, a steam flow rate of 146.15 kilograms per second. Okay, so now that we have this, we can now solve for our groundwater mass flow rate. So again, this is just direct substitution. And we get a groundwater water. Sorry about that. And we get a groundwater groundwater. And we get a grand grand again again again. And we get a groundwater mass flow rate of two thousand nine hundred and thirty-three. Because that's the one in the choices kilograms per second and that is 
our final answer. I hope this helped. Consider liking, subscribing, and supporting me on Patreon. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one.